Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be upgrading to Windows 11 version 22H2 on completely unsupported hardware. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, you've done this video before. Well, I don't think I actually have. I've done installing Windows 11, and that was 21H2 on unsupported hardware, but I've never actually done install it or an upgrade an in-place upgrade so previously you know you'd just be able to make the usb and then run the run the setup and then bam you would be able to upgrade if you did the install.wim move but this time there's a way easier method so just to show you we are actually on unsupported hardware believe it or not so if i run this you'll see that there is no tpm enabled as well as the fact that i have two gigs of ram i do have a supported processor but that's just because i'm virtualizing say two gigs of ram yeah 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 if I run the installer, which is the 22H2 downloaded from Microsoft's website, it will tell us that our computer is not supported. So I'm just going to go ahead, go through whatever, 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 checking your PC. It's going to tell us no. Yep, this PC doesn't meet a requirements, TPM, 4 gigs of memory. So I'm going to show you how we're going to upgrade without that. So right here I have this script, and I actually forget where I found this. I didn't make it. I, I genuinely, I'm not trying to take credit for it. I forget where I found this, um, but it will be in the description. So if you've never made a batch file, all you do is go in the description, copy this. So all this text will be probably in a paste bin. You're going to go new text document and you want to name it script.bat. And if you don't have file extensions enabled, it's going to still show up as a text document. We're going to fix that. So open your text document, paste the script, go to file, save as. From here, change save as text documents to all files, hit save, yes, and you're done. Well, you in theory should be done. Obviously, it's change it to script.bat. Again, in theory, maybe change it from script.bat to script2.bat. And there you go. Now I have two of them on my desktop for some reason. Okay, that was a little weird. Um, but most of you know how to create a batch file. So once your batch file is created, you're going to go ahead and run it as administrator. And you're going to wait, see when it says skip TPM check on dynamic update installed. You want it to say installed. If it says installed, close the batch file script. And now we can go ahead and open the Windows 11 installer. You'll notice that when it comes up, that window will come up. That is bypassing everything. And you'll notice when this comes up, it will say Windows Server. Install installation. Yep, install Windows Server. That is normal. You're actually you're really not installing Windows Server. I would recommend checking keep updates off. We can do those after the upgrade. And just like that, we are now getting through the upgrade. So again, it's still referencing Windows Server. That's okay. That's literally just a part of the bypass. So just keep personal files, whatever, keep whatever you want. And click next. Alright, and now it says ready to install. Make sure it says Windows 11 Pro and just hit install. Again, it will say Windows Server, but just ignore that. We are getting into Windows 11. All right, and here we are after the upgrade. It is currently going through the regular Windows 11, getting things ready set up, but that was basically it. Once this gets into the desktop, I'll, take, I'll talk about a few final things, but we're basically done. All right, and here we are inside of the upgraded copy of Windows 11, and just to prove, we can see that in this PC, we do have our windows.old folder, and the easiest way to get rid of that is to actually go into settings, go to storage, delete temporary files, temporary files, and then check previous Windows installations and delete. But it's that easy to bypass the 22H2 in-place upgrade system. So if you have a computer that's not compatible with Windows 11, you can now get Windows 11 on it, and as of right now, and since Windows 11 came out, you're still able to get updates, which Microsoft said wouldn't happen, but I can still download updates. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe as you're, if you're new around here as do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.